Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. Today I did pick up something quite interesting as a new project. Uh, it's an old uh, Dell laptop 320N. I believe it's made early 90s. I believe it's like 91 or so. And uh, it come in a plastic container like that. Previous owner take it apart everything and try to fix it or so. Then he kind of abandoned that idea and now I got in my possession. Well, let's see what it come. It looks like it's a regional battery, uh, 8.4 volts, uh, 2200 milliamp. Oh, it's actually two of them inside. That's pretty cool. And the leads, it, it, does, it doesn't have any corrosion or oxidation, which is nice. Then uh, looks like it's a yeah. It looks like it's probably hard drive uh, cradle or so. Uh, then clock, battery. Got a little bit dirty, but uh, that's the internal uh, real-time clock battery. It's kind of big and bulky these days. I mean, the, and, and, and didn't make anymore probably. It's uh, Sanyo Kadniko 4.8 volt, 270 milliamp. I'm wondering if it still it still work. Most likely not. And then let me pull it. Make sure I got. I will not break it or so. Okay, here's the upper portion with uh, bottom part or so. Uh, the hinge, I mean the latches, one is broke, another one, uh oh, it's falling apart. Another one, uh, he's, he put in some plastic or so to make sure, I mean it's probably, yeah, it's, it's still usable, but it's, it's kind of, you know what, I don't want to break it. Okay, the screen looks... I mean, at least looks like it is in one piece. That's, uh, as, as far as I know, uh, yeah, 320N Plus, actually. I'm sorry, I said 320N. 320N Plus. There's a previous model, it was uh, 260, 260 something LS or whatever. And those uh, knobs for brightness and, uh, and uh, contrast, it was, I believe, it was here. It feels like it's aluminum. Oh yeah, it is. It's probably aluminum housing. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Well, the, this part is plastic. Uh, upper portion, it feels kind of heavy. Maybe it is aluminum, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, uh, let's see. Everything kind of looks, uh, looks alright. I don't see any crack or... Oh, you know, actually crack right here. One little crack. I will have to glue it. Let me put it, close it back. That will be kind of interesting to see if it's fixable. Okay, we will not force it for now at least. Uh, keyboard, when I was taking apart, uh, tried to open it, the keyboard fell out. Uh, so far, keyboard looks pretty good. Here's a couple dents, but that's probably, I hope it still work. And but according to keyboard, it doesn't look like it has a lot of mileage. Well, the key is has, has the, that polishing part already. It's mean it's been used quite quite good amount. But I hope, like I said, I hope the membrane switch still still work. Let's pull it out the bottom part. Okay, that's the bottom part, and uh, I believe uh, those three twenty ends um, from factory come. Uh, one megabyte and that's that's uh, uh, motherboard populated already and also can be expanded to five megabyte to four megabyte additional two boards of two megabyte each it, it can fit it uh, processor oh it's kind of funny it's not uh, 386 it's 387 actually uh, SX I believe it's also running on a 25 megahertz uh, the battery bay which fit here, I don't see any corrosion. Uh, then, okay, here was used to be hard drive. Uh, the, here's a ribbon cable with uh, IDE 40 pin connector. Uh, this little guy, kind of like a tab. Also, it has a floppy drive, power switch right here, power jack on the back side. Uh, on the back side, what we got here? Uh, parallel port, mouse keyboard, VGA port, and serial port. 
I mean, back then, that's probably will be plenty enough for everything, anything what a laptop can do. I mean, I'm not seeing any reason to have even more ports. Uh, this guy, oh yeah, this guy, it's for keyboard. I was kind of told what for this guy, but then I found that it's a keyboard. And let's see what else we got. Here's a hard drive. The story is, like I said, I mean, the previous owner took it apart because he told uh, something wrong with hard drive. And he did mention it. He took it hard drive apart. He didn't find that anything broke inside or loose. He put it back together. From my experience, usually when you open hard drive, especially if you not really know what you're doing, most likely the hard drive is history. It's not going to work again. But uh, I will be kind of surprising uh, to try to power it and see if it's going to run. Uh, let's see. It's probably... Uh, I'm not really sure what's the capacity. They usually... Back then, they usually come, uh, I believe, like 40 or 60 megabytes. That's probably 60 megabytes or so. It's... It's kind of it's kind of quite impressive how those wires they, they started to uh, board <laughs> with little little resistors. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, that's a cap cover for expansion slot and where the chip uh, where the processor is. And yeah, uh, memory bank one, memory bank two. Actually, it said. Uh, models can be uh, 212N and 320N. There's a couple of jumpers. Also a match co-processor. Uh, it's kind of it's funny when you look at it. I thought this is a actual, actual uh, Intel, well, it's an Intel pro uh, 387 processor or so. This guy looked like probably been overheat a lot or so. You, you see some, some marks. Anyway, uh, it will be nice to put it together and see if it's gonna work. Uh, that, that's another cap. Oh, it's from uh, from other side, I believe. That's gonna be okay. That's for uh, uh, modem card. Also, it did come with modem, which which is really nice. I'm quite surprising. Uh, I mean, there's no corrosion or any kind of oxidation on on, on the board itself. Uh, here's a little flap. Okay, that's a battery door flap. Okay, now I got it. Uh, well, this little guy, I'm not really sure where it come from. This guy, it looks like it's a little door for some expansion port covering or so. I'm not quite sure. Oh, that, that looks like for uh, uh, modem. But also it comes with modem. Oh, most likely... The cover was covered when he bought brand new without modem and then he installed it modem and that's what uh, that little cover come from. Okay, uh, I'm getting, I'm kind of start getting a full picture. This little piece, it's kind of, oh, you know what? That's probably, yep, it looks, looks like, like that. Yep, that's a little door covering those ports. The back plate has a little corrosion over there, which is no biggie. And ah, oh, that's nice. I really like when people uh, do some repairs or taking apart. They collected all screws because that will be tough for me to find it all, uh, find it and matching screws and put it together. And uh, that that's something. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> that, that's not related to this laptop. Most likely he did own it before a drone because that's a Mavic uh, left arm. <laughs> that, that, that parts from, from some drone. That's not related to a laptop. I'm glad he, he it was in a different uh, plastic bag. It's not going to make me confused when I gonna start putting together. Well, uh, it looks like that's it. I mean... Right now it's kind of difficult to say uh, if, if here's the old parts included. Uh, kind of looks looks like to me. Uh, now I need kind of start putting together. First, of course, it's gonna test the hard drive. Uh, see if the hard drive actually is working. If not, I would like to convert it to a compact flash uh, or SD card used as a hard drive. But the thing is, this is an old laptop, like I mentioned, I believe it's made in 91 or so. And uh, 
uh, it, it, back then it was running on a Windows 3.1 or so and for me it kind of going to be difficult to uh, figure out how to install Windows 3.1 actually hard drive it's 80 megabytes obviously well guys uh, pretty much that's kind of short video of my new project if you do have experience uh, with Windows 3.1 and you know the easy way how to install it on the SD card or compact flash leave it comments I will really appreciate also uh, like I said it looks like it's one meg or so here if you know what's the uh, model of those memory cards, memory, yeah, memory cards or memory sticks, uh, which fits uh, for Dell uh, 320 and uh, laptop motherboard. Well, guys, I hope this video was uh, kind of helpful, enjoyable. If you did enjoy it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will be really appreciate. Thank you.